We are taking the outboard off, putting it on the dock and putting some dolphin fins on. It balances the boat out and um, makes it plane quicker. Cool, so it makes the dinghy more efficient. More efficient and easier to handle. Ah, so that fin there you see, that's what we're installing, yeah? Yeah, and as it travels through the water, that airplane wing gives it lift which gives you more efficiency on your boat. And do you, have you, did you find a difference after you put oh, that huge, on? huge, huge. Probably three knots, four knots. Okay, cool. We had these fins sitting in our captain's cabin for over a year. When our neighbor Brad said he had previous experience putting them on and would help us do the job, we said, let's go for it. So they're moving the outboard to, are you putting it on the jetty, son? Yeah. Just so you can install it? I tell you, this little crane has been so handy for us. We had this crane custom made for us in Sicily for under $200. It helps us raise and lower the outboard with ease. Now Brad's just bringing the dinghy back around so that the guys can lift the outboard. This is similar to the davit crane you have on your boat. It's just on steroids, that's all. Yeah, <laughs> this is a souped up crane. Yeah. Okay. You know which side to lay it on, right? The side without the handle. Yeah. Without the tilling. That's normal on a outboard. Does it slide on just like that and then you bolt it in? Yeah. Ah. So they just kind of slide on. I don't know where it needs to be positioned though. Do you want me to give you the instructions? There you go. You're making sure it's flush along the center line there. How's it going so far? Well, it, it's not going great because um, the drill, we can't drill straight up from either end, up either from the bottom or the top. So uh, it's going to be interesting. As with everything. As with everything. So why can't you drill straight? Because this part of the body is in the way. Oh, the actual shaft is in the way from the drill going straight down. Yeah. Okay, I see the problem. Have you read the instructions? Yeah. You can't get into the front one with the drill being straight up and down. Gotcha. We also can't get in from the bottom with that. Okay. There's two tools that I know of that can do the job. First is a flexible cord that, that you chuck into the drill just like a, a bit and then you, you put the uh, bit in the end of it. But it flexes and it also spins. So that allows you to get somewhat of an angle either way, front or back. Another way to do it is a right angle chuck onto the drill head. Okay. Anything else you, you ladies would like? Just food. Just okay. food. <laughs> Don't come back without any food. Yeah, so this 15 minute job has uh, taken an hour and a half already. Yeah, and now it's time now to it's eat time for McDonald's. McDonald's food of athletes. Putting the first screw in, tighten it up. It's just like another yeah. step. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. It's spinning inside this. I need to get a different uh, okay. bit. So give me just a second. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. That's it. I don't want to okay. take the teeth out of this. The reason we're doing this is we had to come in at a slight angle because this was too long to get what was direct. Too, what was too long? The, the drill plus the right angle was too uh, long. In order to get this hole done, we had to come in at an angle. So the, the nut doesn't fit exactly into the hole on this side. And so it's off to the side a little bit. So to hold it in place, instead of using the ratchet set, we used a pair of needle nose vice grips. It'll go right in, go ahead. I'll keep it on the, it's going right in, yeah. The other thing we could have done is chuck that up, chuck an end up in the uh, drill bit, but this works fine. What is it? I'd rather be in a boat with a drink on the rocks than in the drink with a boat on the rocks? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay, and we are clipped in and ready. 
for you, sir. Tighten her down. If you'll hold it steady with this, mm -hmm. and give me this head. So tackling it from both ends. It's illegal in four states. <laughs> Only four? Okay, I can't hold it anymore. Okay. The kit didn't tell you it took four hands. So are, are all the bolts in now? No, it's just left one now. Don't be sassy. <laughs> Yes, we're done. So Sienna's going on board to show the guys how it's done. And heave. And heave. We're gonna let her out slow. We're let her out slow. Okay. Okay. Now the tide's really going. You made it. It was a long journey. <laughs> Previous to having the crane, we tried to use halyards, and that was disastrous. This crane really paid for itself after we popped our dinghy. The dinghy was sinking, and we needed to remove the outboard quickly. Thanks to the crane, we saved the outboard and were able to hoist the dinghy up to the foredeck with a halyard. It's hot, but it's on, and uh, very thankful to Brad for helping me out. And uh, so when are we going to test this out? We're going to test it out in the next couple of days. Awesome. There's only one thing you need to do this job. Good neighbors. Yeah, it's much smoother. It gets up on a plane really, really quickly. People will be saying, but you've got all this water fanning out. Yeah, Yeah, you, there's a spray, like a fan know. tail yeah, you had. It, it's a new dinghy to us, and on our old dinghy, it didn't do that. Before, and I thought the fin might correct it. It's because we've got a long, long-legged uh, outboard. I don't know if anyone knows, can they let us know? Yeah, why we have a fan tail. <laughs> why we have a fan tail. <laughs> like you just want to look cool, don't you? Yeah, it looks impressive. <laughs> If you want to know more about being a full-time sailing live aboard, our aim is to help entertain, educate, inspire, and connect with other sailors. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive notifications of new videos, check out our online bookstore where we sell helpful sailing guides, visit our Etsy gift store for nautical t-shirts, jewelry, pillowcases, spices for sailors, and more, or join our community on Patreon.